Okay, let's take a look at how we go about saving our projects in Photoshop. Now what I can see over here is I have all of these different layers and these are the different um, things that I have done to this project as I've worked through. Um, now, if I wanted to continue to working on this project, I would need to save it as a .psd file, which is the uh, native Photoshop file. That is the Photoshop file and the one that we can continue to work on. But what I'm going to do, so let's come on in. So I would come on in, I would say File, Save As, okay? And I'm going to come on in wherever you want to save it, right? You find where we want it to be. Um, so I'm going to save this into here, into Digital Photo. Okay, so I'm going to give it a name. And if, again, if I wanted to keep working on it, I would save it as a .psd and then you can open it up in Photoshop. But I am done with this image and I'm ready to upload it. Um, so I have all these different choices and what we're going to do is we can see, you know, we have TIFF files, we have PNG files, um, but we could say, you know, if we're going to upload it to Flickr or we're going to print it as a photograph, photos mostly are JPEG. So we're going to choose JPEG for this. Okay, now the story with this too is once we save it as a JPEG, all of these layers are flattened. So we save it as a JPEG when we're all finished. So we hit save, and then it's going to ask us, okay, what kind of quality would we like it to be? And high is fine. I'm going to leave it as high just for now. And I'm going to hit OK. And there we have it. Now, if I come on in and I take a look at this file now, um, I'm going to see that it is, when I open it up, I can send it, I can move it, I can do all different kinds of things, but uh, it's, I no longer have the layers. There we have it, saving files as .psd files or saving them as JPEGs.